Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Are you an industrial controls panel builder and prefer Phoenix Contact for your components? Then you may have heard about the ClipX Engineer software. In today's video, I'm gonna take a look at the ClipX Engineer software and check if there are any possibilities to interface with it. Alright, we are here on the Phoenix Contact homepage and search for ClipX Engineer. If we will click here first to the product details to learn a little bit more about the software before we start using it, um, this PDF will open. And in short, we will learn what the software is about. It's an engineering software for planning and ordering terminal strips assembled mounting plates and junction boxes, right? So that means the software will hopefully help us um, lay out our terminal strips or confirm the terminal strips. What are the advantages of the software? Uh, it's very important that we know that it's a smart interface between the Phoenix contact applications and your CAE program. Uh, if we take a look at the software details, which you can find on the second page here, you see it's for all um, recent Windows operating systems. The languages supported are German, English, and French. And what's very important, the only software interface is with ePlan Electric P8, and that's what we're going to test today. So. Um, Actually, if you like to use it, you will need to download first the add-on for the ePlan platform. And where you can find it, it's here on this homepage. If you click on Downloads, it will jump here to Software Update. And you can download the 47 megabytes uh, zip file, which you can fairly easy install afterwards. That's what you need to do if you are interested in a bi-directional exchange between ClipX and ePlan. So let's take a look now in ePlan and prepare an example. So I'm in the ePlan platform and I've laid out a terminal strip. In the schematic, this will be the terminal strip, which we will use for today's example. And this will be the panel layout in ProPanel. In the terminal navigator, the terminal layout looks good. But I'm an inexperienced uh, engineer, and I would like to confirm if this terminal strip is correct. So am I using the right components? Maybe some of those components are obsolete. What I need to do now is to export this data to ClipX Engineer. After you install the add-on under Tools, Phoenix Contact add-on, the ClipX Engineer button will appear. So we will we will run this. This starts the window for the export settings. Here, terminal strip is activated and import data from CXE after editing. We will press next to confirm this. Currently, we have one project open. That's the ESS sample project. As you see, we have a lot of layout space and a lot of terminal strips. And I'm going to just select the XD1 terminal strip as mentioned. This will start the export process. And online, the Phoenix Contact ClipX Engineer starts. That's one of the benefits which I like about the software. It's online and it's for free. So here you see what was exported to the ClipX Engineer. One of the best features of the ClipX Engineer is under Home, Auto Correction functionality. So I'll click here Auto Correction, and the software will tell me what is missing. And I'll just press here Correct All. And as you see, it exchanged the obsolete components with uh, appropriate components. Under this video, you can find a link to a Phoenix Contact video about ClickPex Engineer. So. Now that the software has corrected the terminal strip, 
let's send the information back to ePlan platform. For this, we are going back here to ePlan Electric P8 and start the synchronization to ePlan Electric P8. This window we will confirm with yes. We will select the terminal strip and press export. If we now go back to ePlan, you see the software is downloading the information and now you can import it into the ePlan platform. So, now the terminal strip information changed. And if I click here on the right mouse click edit, you see the new part information is entered here. Since these terminals are now obsolete, we can select those, delete them, and instead of this, select the new terminals and place the terminal strip. As you see, this is now a new terminal strip and the same terminals as in the ClipX Engineer software are now placed. So Phoenix recommended me the right end brackets, which are not obsolete. So this was a bidirectional exchange between ClipX Engineer and the ePlan platform. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. Have you already used the ClipX Engineer software before? Or are you considering to using the interface between ePlan and ClipX Engineer? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you find this video beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and share it in your community. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.